So I'll quickly say, just even, just based on our polling and all of our research, like black women are already thinking about that when they walk into the polling booth, right? They're thinking about um, paid family medical leave and issues around sick leave, and they might not be able to articulate like the policy impetus, but they're thinking about how that's affecting them. And then what we what we know is that they're trying to match up how they're feeling. Are there issues around childcare? Are there issues around um, kind of equal pay? And then they walk into the vote, voting booth and, sit and say and make a calculation who's closest and who aligns themselves with those issues. So I think part of it is a translation and I think for those in media, you have the ability to both speak to that and connect the dots and say, you're thinking about this, you're having these table, these conversations at your kitchen table, you're talking about childcare issues and we know that childcare is more expensive in every state in the country than rent in most cases. So you're already having that conversation who is the candidate who's putting forth an idea or solution? And when you think, when I think you match the actual issues that we care about with who's a candidate who's saying something as opposed to just like using adjectives to describe himself, um, when you actually do that, I think you'll you'll be able to kind of get some excitement because you'll speak to how people are actually feeling. 